So here's our next little project. Isn't this such a cute night table? So this was actually at my mom's house and she's been getting rid of a lot of stuff, just purging. And uh, we actually need a night table in our guest room. So I was like, mom, don't throw this away. Like I will take it and do something with it. My mom was going to throw this nightstand out, but I knew that I could make it something special. You can see that the paint is quite chipped. It's gonna need new hardware, but there's a lot of potential. I knew this would be a great project because of the shape. It's got that perfect modern shape. I started by sanding this with a P60 grit. The goal of sanding is to get rid of that shiny surface so that you're actually scruffing up the surface. So you don't need to get all the veneer off. I use this cordless sander. It's great because you don't need to stay plugged in, but I definitely went through a few battery charges just on this little project. That's one way that the corded sanders are a bit better. You need to remove the knobs to sand the entire surface. Just use a screwdriver or a drill and take it off. If you're gonna be reusing them, put them in a safe place. I won't be, you'll see I got these really cute gold knobs. To finish off sanding, you need to get into all these tight corners that the orbital sander can't get into. So I use my multi-tool. You can also use a mouse sander and you just gotta get into all those little corners. Once you're done sanding, just do a quick check to make sure the entire surface is scruffed up. You have to remove all the sawdust, so use a tack cloth to wipe down the entire surface. Don't skip this step. If you do, you'll get sawdust in your paint and your surface will be all clumpy instead of smooth when you paint it. You can see all the sawdust that I pulled off with this. Next, we're gonna add some fun detail to the drawer front. Set your saw to a 45 degree angle. You're gonna need to cut every single piece on a miter. So the reason it's so important to cut on that 45 degree miter is this. You see how all those ridges, they just line up perfectly? Like that's what you want. Measure your drawer front and finish cutting all your pieces. I did a dry fit to see how good it looks and guys, this is going to make the biggest difference in elevating this dirty trash worthy nightstand. Oh yeah, all the pieces are cut in a parallelogram so they all fit together. You see how all those miter corners really bring the piece together? Next, I use wood glue on the back of each piece to glue it on to the drawer fronts. I added a strip of the glue and then smoothed it out with my finger. You could also use a paintbrush or foam brush to smooth out all that glue. You want to avoid putting too much glue on because when you press it down onto your drawer front, if it oozes out the sides, it's going to leave a clumpy mark when you paint it. You could also use a paintbrush or foam brush to smooth out the glue if you don't want to use your fingers. Now we're gonna start priming. Do not skip priming. Guys, I have had so many people over on Instagram tell me that they've missed the primer or they forgot to prime. You will not be able to have paint that sticks to your nightstand or any piece of furniture unless you prime. I use Bin Shellac based primer. I really like this primer. I roll it on with a foam roller and then I use a dollar store paintbrush to get into all the crevices. This is really hard to wash off, so I usually end up throwing away all my brushes and rollers. Let it cure for 24 hours and then make sure you do the scratch test. That's when you actually scratch your surface and make sure none of that primer comes off. If it does, that means your paint is gonna chip as well. We're almost to the end of the project and it's gonna look so good. You can use any household wall paint to paint your furniture. I used Sharon Williams Urethane Trim Enamel only because I had this left over from a previous project. This is my absolute favorite paintbrush. This is a rubber handle paintbrush and it lets you get into all the crevices. Make sure you use a foam roller to do all your rolling to get that really smooth finish. I love to do three coats of paint just to get that perfect finish. Then I attach the new hardware and check out how beautiful this looks. Can you even believe that this is the same dresser that my mom was going to throw away? What do you think? Does it even look like that piece of trash?